What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you all the new gestures in iOS 8. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about and one you've probably seen if you've been watching my previous videos is interactive notifications. So if we jump into my messages here and I send myself a message, let's go ahead and jump out here and I should get a banner notification. So if I pull down, then that's going to allow me to quickly reply to that message without actually going into the application itself. So you can also do this on your lock screen. So let's go ahead and send myself another message here. We'll just say, hey, send that off and then jump to the lock screen and I should get a notification right here and it's going to pop up and then I can swipe to the left to either close out with the X or reply and it's going to pop this up right here. Now you can do the exact same thing within your notification center. If you miss the notification then you can just do it that way as well. Now if we go into the messages app and we open that up, you can see you can actually use a gesture to hide the quick type feature right there. So that quick type bar you can pull up or you can swipe down just with one finger just like that so very simple to do and also if we jump out of this and we swipe over here to our mail app if we do a short swipe to the right you can see that we get a mark is red button but also if we swipe a long swipe and you can see that it jumps almost all the way across the screen you let go and then it's going to automatically mark that email as red now if we swipe to the left just like that then we get three options we have more flag and trash and again if we do a long swipe to the right then we put that email directly in trash now if we start to compose a message and we tap on this right here you'll notice that this is a brand new page and you can grab the message and move it down so if you need to look at a email right behind this you know to either reference to if you're answering questions or maybe copy and pasting then you can just pull that back up just by tapping it or you can slide it back down for easy readability and getting back to that actual mailbox right there now the next feature I'm going to show you here only works for the iPad on iOS 8 as well as the iPhone 6 Plus in landscape mode. Unfortunately it's not going to work with the iPhone 6 just because there's really not enough screen real estate in order to take advantage of this feature. But you can see right here that you can either pinch with three fingers or pinch with two to open up the tab view. So we're going to pinch with two just because it's a little bit easier to do. But you can see if we pinch with two fingers then we can swipe through all of these and you can see all of our tabs right here and you'll notice that the two or the layered tabs are actually the same site different pages on the same site so there's also another thing that you can do right here let's just say we were going to go to uh, this page right here now we can also pinch with two fingers or three fingers and swipe to the left right up down and it's going to go to that other page so you can see right here that we swipe and not let go I'm sorry we pinch and don't let go let's try to get off that video right there so we pinch and then we don't let go and then we're gonna swipe over like that and let go so that's basically how that works again let's do it one more time pinch let's try this one pinch and you can see how that works so it's a little bit easier to go to the right just like that again you can go up and down as well so it's pretty intuitive it takes a little bit of practice to master this but again it does work pretty well as you can see but a really cool feature to iOS 8 definitely one worth checking out if you have an iPad or an iPhone 6 plus so let's get out of this and go over to our settings so we'll swipe over here tap on general and then accessibility and then we're gonna tap on speech so you can see that we have speak screen so if we read under this it says swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the content of the screen so that doesn't necessarily mean just the typed out portion of the screen it means the entire screen so it's going to tell you buttons it's going to tell you everything that's on the screen so you can see right here if we go ahead and turn this on speak selection on a speak button will appear when you select text speak screen on swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the content of the screen voices so you can see you actually have some options up here as well so you can close out you can go slower you can go backwards you can play pause you can go forwards or speed up and you can hit that and it's going to actually speed up the play of the text so you can hear right now speaking rate speaking rate 18 percent highlight content off so you can see how that works just like that so definitely some cool features in ios 8 in terms of gestures let me know what you guys think about these gestures in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe Alright guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.